Simply Cat 2020. Test 7. Listening. Part 1. 1. What time did Omar arrive at the school? Why are you so late, Omar? It's quarter to 11 now, and your class began at 9.45. I'm so sorry. I left my home at 9 o'clock, and I hoped that I would be here on time, but my mum's car broke down, so I had to wait to catch the bus. OK, then. I see. Now listen again. Why are you so late, Omar? It's quarter to 11 now, and your class began at 9.45. I'm so sorry. I left my home at 9 o'clock, and I hoped that I would be here on time, but my mum's car broke down, so I had to wait to catch the bus. OK then, I see. Two. How much did Mei Lua pay for her shirt? Hi Mei Lua. What a nice shirt. It must be expensive. Yes, it is. It costs £50, but my sister works at a clothes shop, so we can get everything at half price. You're very lucky. I bought a shirt too, but I paid £75. Oh no, that's a lot of money. Now listen again. Hi Mei Lua. What a nice shirt. It must be expensive. Yes, it is. It costs £50, but my sister works at a clothes shop so we can get everything at half price. You're very lucky. I bought a shirt too, but I paid £75. Oh no, that's a lot of money. Three. How did Anna help her mother with the housework? Hi Anna, what did you do at the weekend? I helped my mother do the housework. I washed the car. I hate doing that. I know what you mean. I only like to water the plants. I prefer doing things outside of the house. I only enjoy being outdoors when I'm playing, not when I have to water the plants or pick up the rubbish. Now listen again. Hi Anna, what did you do at the weekend? I helped my mother do the housework. I washed the car. I hate doing that. I know what you mean. I only like to water the plants. I prefer doing things outside of the house. I only enjoy being outdoors when I'm playing, not when I have to water the plants or pick up the rubbish. Four. Who is the girl's teacher? Is that man with no hair your teacher? No, my teacher has got brown hair. He's also got a beard. Oh, I can see him now. He's over there. He also wears glasses. No, my teacher has got short hair and he doesn't wear glasses. Now listen again. Is that man with no hair your teacher? No, my teacher has got brown hair. He's also got a beard. Oh, I can see him now. He's over there. He also wears glasses. No, my teacher has got short hair and he doesn't wear glasses. Five. Where will Amira have her birthday party? Amira, have you decided to have your birthday party in the cafe near your house? Like last year? Perhaps I could have it in my garden this year. We also have a swimming pool. I think it will be really exciting there. But. I've heard the weather will be bad on your birthday. Exactly. So to be safe, I'll have it in the dining room. Now listen again. Amira, have you decided to have your birthday party in the cafe near your house? Like last year? Perhaps I could have it in my garden this year. We also have a swimming pool. I think it will be really exciting there. But. I've heard the weather will be bad on your birthday. Exactly. So to be safe, I'll have it in the dining room. Part 2 
Look at questions 6 to 10 now. You have 10 seconds. You will hear a teacher talking to students about a trip to a farm. All the biology students will be excited to hear that there will be a trip to a local farm next month. We wanted the trip to be on the 18th of April, but April's a very busy month for farms. So we'll go the following month, on May 19th, before examinations begin on June the 2nd. We will go by coach, as the farm isn't near a train or bus station. There'll also be a lot of us. In total, we will be 52. That's two teachers and two classes of biology students. Mr Lowe will be with his class of 30 students and Mrs Topping with the 20 students who are in her class. Before you go, you will start preparing a project on farm animals. You can work alone or in small groups. Please find such projects at the school's website. That's www.biostaff.com. That's spelt B-I-O-S-T-A-F-F. There will be a competition for the best project and a prize for the winner or winners. I have written all the details on these sheets. Please take one before you leave. Thank you. Now listen again. All the biology students will be excited to hear that there will be a trip to a local farm next month. We wanted the trip to be on the 18th of April, but April's a very busy month for farms. So we'll go the following month, on May 19th, before examinations begin on June the 2nd. We will go by coach, as the farm isn't near a train or bus station. There'll also be a lot of us. In total, we will be 52. That's two teachers and two classes of biology students. Mr Lowe will be with his class of 30 students and Mrs Topping with the 20 students who are in her class. Before you go, you will start preparing a project on farm animals. You can work alone or in small groups. Please find such projects at the school's website. That's www.biostaff.com. That's spelt B-I-O-S-T-A-F-F. There will be a competition for the best project and a prize for the winner or winners. I have written all the details on these sheets. Please take one before you leave. Thank you. Part 3 Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. You will hear Harry talking to his friend Kate about their plans for the year. This is going to be a busy year, isn't it? Especially for me. Oh, I forgot your sister is going to get married in a big city in Italy. Yes, I'll have to fly back to Scotland immediately afterwards. My parents will stay over there for another week, and then we will go on holiday in France. It's a shame our exams start so early. I know. I may have to study on the plane. You always leave things until the last moment, don't you? But I haven't failed any exams because of it. Yes, but you know these exams are important. Maybe more for you. I suppose so. Anyway, I'm not the one who's going to change school. Yes, I'd still like to get good grades anyway. Well, I feel worried just talking about exams. I need to do something to help me relax. What about coming with me to an after-school club? There's a film club, a tennis and chess club. I'd only be interested in the first, but not if they show old movies. Don't worry. The students choose what films they want to see. OK. Sounds great.
Now listen again. This is going to be a busy year, isn't it? Especially for me. Oh, I forgot your sister is going to get married in a big city in Italy. Yes. I'll have to fly back to Scotland immediately afterwards. My parents will stay over there for another week, and then we will go on holiday in France. It's a shame our exams start so early. I know. I may have to study on the plane. You always leave things until the last moment, don't you? But I haven't failed any exams because of it. Yes, but you know these exams are important. Maybe more for you. I suppose so. Anyway, I'm not the one who's going to change school. Yes, I'd still like to get good grades anyway. Well, I feel worried just talking about exams. I need to do something to help me relax. What about coming with me to an after-school club? There's a film club, a tennis and chess club. I'd only be interested in the first, but not if they show old movies. Don't worry. The students choose what films they want to see. Okay. Sounds great. Part 4 16. You will hear two friends talking. What's the problem with the boy's bike? Did you sell your bicycle, John? No, I didn't. Oh, that's a shame. Maybe you asked for too much money. Not really, especially as it's almost new. The problem is that most people don't like its colour. It's black. I have to paint it in a lighter colour. Now listen again. Did you sell your bicycle, John? No, I didn't. Oh, that's a shame. Maybe you asked for too much money. Not really, especially as it's almost new. The problem is that most people don't like its colour. It's black. I have to paint it in a lighter colour. Seventeen. You will hear two teachers talking. What don't they agree about? I think the careers day is a good idea, don't you? I think it's interesting only for the older students. But you need to start thinking about a career when you're still very young. At that age, I was only interested in playing games. But things aren't easy now. It's more difficult to find a good job. I know. But it's better to worry about that when you're older. 19. Now listen again. I think the careers day is a good idea, don't you? I think it's interesting only for the older students. But you need to start thinking about a career when you're still very young. At that age, I was only interested in playing games. But things aren't easy now. It's more difficult to find a good job. I know, but it's better to worry about that when you're older. 18. You will hear two friends talking at school. Why is Paul tired? How are you, Paul? OK, thanks. I finished the school project I had to do. You look tired. Did you go to bed late? Yes, but that was because my train home from school was delayed. At least I could do some work, sitting at the station. The rest, I finished on the train. There wasn't much to do. Oh, well done. I still haven't finished mine. I'll probably have to study until late tonight. 19. Now listen again. How are you, Paul? OK, thanks. I finished the school project I had to do. You look tired. Did you go to bed late? Yes, but that was because my train home from school was delayed. At least I could do some work, sitting at the station. The rest, I finished on the train. There wasn't much to do. Oh, well done. I still haven't finished mine. I'll probably have to study until late tonight. 19. You will hear a girl talking about her holiday. What didn't she like about her holiday? My brother and some of his friends went on a sailing holiday and I decided to go with them. 
I love the sea, but I don't like sailing. However, it was better than I thought it would be. But I don't think I will go again. We might not get such good weather next time. Also, I didn't like the place where we stayed. It was a very old hotel. Now listen again. My brother and some of his friends went on a sailing holiday and I decided to go with them. I love the sea, but I don't like sailing. However, it was better than I thought it would be. But I don't think I will go again. We might not get such good weather next time. Also, I didn't like the place where we stayed. It was a very old hotel. Twenty. You will hear a boy talking about his piano practice. Who has told him to stop practicing? My music exam is next week. I started practicing the piano, but then I had to stop. Miss Nelson, my history teacher, told me that I have to finish my project before the end of the week. I tried to talk to her about my music exam, but it made no difference. My mother says that she'll talk to the head teacher. Now listen again. My music exam is next week. I started practicing the piano, but then I had to stop. Miss Nelson, my history teacher, told me that I have to finish my project before the end of the week. I tried to talk to her about my music exam, but it made no difference. My mother says that she'll talk to the head teacher. Part 5 Look at questions 21 to 25 now. You have 15 seconds. You will hear Dolores and Tony talking about a school lesson. What would each person take to a desert island? I'm glad I don't have to stay on the desert island for a week. But it was an interesting lesson. It made me think about what I would take if I had to stay on one. We all had good ideas. It's funny, you know. Everyone was thinking about bringing equipment like a knife or a backpack. No one thought of the most important thing. Water. Well, our teacher did. Anyway, I'm not surprised Mandy thought of a backpack to carry all her clothes in. But I'm surprised it was Jackie, and not Rob, who thought of the knife. I mean, Rob goes camping a lot, and always brings one. Well, his idea was good anyway. I know. It's not so bad sleeping outside if you have a pillow to lie your head on. Vicky's idea about an umbrella was a bit silly, wasn't it? Yes, but it wasn't for the rain. It was to stop getting too hot in the sun. Oh, I see. Well, I think my idea was better. What was it, Dolores? A swimsuit? No, sunglasses. At least no one suggested taking a mobile. Now listen again. I'm glad I don't have to stay on the desert island for a week. But it was an interesting lesson. It made me think about what I would take if I had to stay on one. We all had good ideas. It's funny, you know. Everyone was thinking about bringing equipment like a knife or a backpack. But no one thought of the most important thing. Water. Well, our teacher did. Anyway. I'm not surprised Mandy thought of a backpack to carry all her clothes in. But I'm surprised it was Jackie, and not Rob, who thought of the knife. I mean, Rob goes camping a lot and always brings one. Well, his idea was good anyway. 
I know. It's not so bad sleeping outside if you have a pillow to lie your head on. Vicky's idea about an umbrella was a bit silly, wasn't it? Yes, but it wasn't for the rain. It was to stop getting too hot in the sun. Oh, I see. Well, I think my idea was better. What was it, Dolores? A swimsuit? No, sunglasses. At least no one suggested taking a mobile. <laughs>